Hi there, welcome to my channel. This is Sharon of Good Karma. I've got some cards here, um, very interesting. In fact, actually, you've got 10 here, which I think really relate to Divine Masculines at the moment. And I only needed to draw five for this particular set of Divine Feminines. Um, so yeah, let's have a look. Very interesting, King of Pentacles sitting here. Quite content, Divine Masculine. This is, I feel, what the Divine Masculine is trying to show to the world. He, he, he wants to be in this space. He's pretending he is. He's trying to show this to the world when he's out and about, but actually when Divine Masculine is alone, this is where he is. He's, he's still just broken, um, not at peace. Um, so many inner child wounds. I feel like he's starting to work on them, but it it's feeling like um, it's feeling quite overwhelming to the divine masculines right now. And I I would expect that Mercury retrograde, um, and as, as well as the new moon tomorrow, and the various other astrological aspects that we've got right now, aren't helping. Or a feeling to the Divine Masculine that it, that's not helping. But actually, of course, every energy that surrounds us is always helping, no matter what it feels like to us. So even though Divine Masculine is feeling like this, is feeling broken, overwhelmed, doesn't know really where to turn, this is all happening for its highest good. This is all happening to help him actually be in the King of Pentacles energy the king of pentacles power to empower himself to start loving himself to to let go of all the toxic situations that are surrounding him right now all the lessons all the karmic lessons that the divine masculine has attracted um and yeah the the there's the only the only the only way out the only way out of this energy is to go through it yeah, you can't hide away. You know, I think Divine Masculines, you've been hiding away for such a long time and, and now, now is the time for you to do the work and you are doing it. You are doing it. It's just, it takes time and you're, you're struggling at the minute because you're feeling overwhelmed because you feel like you've been doing so much work but you're not actually getting anywhere. Um, but the thing is, until we learn the lessons, until we listen to our heart instead of our ego um, and let go of everything that isn't serving us, we continue attracting the lessons. And of course, the lessons will keep getting harder and harder because sometimes we have to break. We have to break to be able to wake up to ourselves. And so, yeah, Divine Masculines, you, you've got inner child work to do. You've um, and And the only way... To do this work is to actually, you know, accept the guidance, accept that you're you're being loved, supported and guided by your spirit team, by your higher self, and by your twin flames higher self. You 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 have got the love and the support that you need, but you actually need to trust in it. You need to have faith that this journey that you are on is leading to the light. It is not leading to this dark place that you're in right now. It is your way out, but you have to go through it. You've got to stop holding on so tightly to, to, to the past, to everything that you feel has worked before because it's not working now. Um, it's time to look at things from a, from a different perspective, Divine Masculine. Stop looking at um, all the things around you, all the earthly things around you to make choices and start looking up, start trusting in your inner self, start trusting and having faith in your spirit team. Open your third eye, don't be tempted by the devil. The devil is your ego. The devil is your ego trying to, sorry there's a cat on the table, trying to um, 
to, to put you off balance. Your ego is always the one that is trying to blind you to what is truly going, around, going on around you. Let go of your ego. Listen to your heart. Listen to your, your higher self. Open your third eye. Trust. Have faith. This is all happening for a reason, and that reason is for your highest good. It's time to let go of the past. It's time to stop falling down those snakes. It's time to climb up that ladder. It's time to see that you hold the key. The key is in yourself. The key is your, in your spirit team. The key is in your higher self. You have all the answers. You need to look at things from a different perspective. If you want to be... The person that you're making out to the world that you are, if you want to be able to sit there and very in, in calmness, in peace, in love and harmony and balance, you've got to start looking at things from a different perspective. You've got to let go of all the crap and you, you, you've got to do this because it's not going to change, it's going to get worse. If you don't do the work, if you don't do the inner child work if you don't listen to spirit and have faith that everything is happening for your highest good that you are this is going to continue you have the key you have to listen you don't have to listen you can continue but you will keep getting back to this space because you're listening to the devil you're listening to your ego and and look at this card look at this card you're just being tempted the whole time you're the puppet you're the puppet fluffy come on off you go. You are the puppet of your own mind. You have the key to change this, Divine Masculine. Only you do. Nobody else. No one else can help you. But you're, you're, you're going to be surrounded right now by people who are actually trying to put you off the path. You'll be surrounded by um, all sorts of situations and people who are trying to bring you down in order for you to wake up you will have toxic unbalanced friendships right now you will you will be struggling with work you'll be strugg struggling with every single relationship around you because you're not in a healthy space with yourself you will be attracting negative relationships you will be attracting you know all sorts of negativity you're, you're, you you may well be having money worries you, you your work may have stopped you might find that Things are breaking down. You're having accidents, or you know, machinery, things in your home. You'll find that everything will start going wrong. And the longer you stay in this space, the longer you don't pick up that key, turn around, pick up that key. Things, see things from a different perspective. As long as you stay in this space, in oh pity me, victim mode, you will continue to have more and more difficult lessons find your inner self listen to your higher self open your third eye trust in spirit and climb up to the light stop holding on to the past become the king of pentacles become that person that you really want to be divine feminine look at you look at you you are the empress these Divine Feminines, right now, are totally at peace. The Empress, completely connected to higher self, completely grounded, got her own world in her, in her arms. She's creating the world that she's always dreamed of. She's at peace. She's in her bliss. She's powerful. She's calm. She's peaceful. She's happy. And here, the World card. She has the world. She has her own world. She's balanced everything. She has her, she has her sights on, you know, everything that she's ever dreamed on, and she knows that we've in her grasp now. She's done all this work, all this work that Divine Masculine's still struggling with. Divine Feminine has done. She's celebrating. She's celebrating, and she's being celebrated. She's helping. She's teaching. She's learning. She's growing. She's proud of herself. She's full of self-love, self-worth, self-respect. She's found, she's found her power. She is the Empress. And she's attracting her tribe. This is the thing. Once you're in your power, you attract your tribe. You attract light, might. We all attract 
attract like-minded people. The Empress is attracting Empresses. The Empress is attracting healthy relationships everywhere. And not just with people, with everything else. Healthy relationships, obviously with herself, with, with, with money, with things, with, with, with the earth, with, with absolutely everything. The divine feminines in this collective are at peace. They are so balanced and they know that everything they've ever wished for will be theirs in divine timing. But it doesn't matter because they're actually totally perfectly happy where they are. They know that their divine masculine is going to come. They know that this is going to work out. Divine feminines know this in their hearts, in their soul. They know that their king of pentacles is coming as soon as he starts seeing things from different perspective. As soon as he starts embracing his higher self, listening to his intuition and not being tempted by the devil. As soon as he gets off his butt and starts climbing up towards that light. As soon as he does the inner child work, as soon as he lets go of the past, as soon as he stops being a victim, as soon as he actually stands up and picks up that key and opens the door to his own future. Divine Masculine, you're standing in your own way. You are standing in your own way. Stand up. Stand up for yourself. Not for anybody else. Stand up for yourself. Do your inner child work. Believe in yourself. You are beautiful, Divine Masculine. You are beautiful. You are connected. Stop letting your mind dictate your life. Stop it. It's your only way forward. It's your only way up that ladder to the light. Continue on this path and all you're doing is attracting more and more crap into your life. Let's have a look what, um, what messages we get from Moonology deck. Nothing is yet set in stone. Divine Masculine, you don't have to continue on this path. It's all in your hands. You don't have to continue being unhappy. You can change this. You can change this. Come here, Fluffy. All you have to do is stop looking down and being a victim. Stand up, grab the key. Grab the key, Divine Masculine. It's your key, you hold it. Nobody else. Stop being a victim. Let go of your past. Listen to your intuition. Stop listening to people who are trying to pull you down because you're being tested everywhere. You're being tested in order to help you stand up. Your commitment is being tested. There you go, Divine Masculine. Your commitment to yourself is being tested. Come here, Fluffy. Really wants to get on the table this morning, doesn't she? Divine Masculine, your commitment to yourself is being tested. This is your time. This is not going to get easier this time. This is it. You cannot hide any longer. Your lessons, if you, if you, don't, if you don't commit to yourself, if you don't stop all the unhealthy, toxic behaviours, if you don't break all the unhealthy, toxic relationships... You are going to reap some heavy karma. It is time to take action, Divine Masculine. It is time for you to get out of victim mode, to stand up and pick up that key and open that door because that is your door to your freedom. This, this, is, this isn't about anybody else. This is about you, Divine Masculine. Divine Feminine has already done that. She's free. She's free. She has, she's, she's enjoying life. She's at peace. She's happy. But, and she trusts that you will do this. But it's all about divine timing. Divine, divine Feminine knows that she's just got to get on with her life. 
because she's done her work and she now needs to actually just get on with her life make space because she wants her divine masculine don't there's no doubt there's no doubt in divine feminine's mind that divine masculine and her will be together but she will not will not attract this person she will not attract victims any longer divine feminine will not have these people in her life any longer divine feminine will only have healthy relationships and she's already got them all and this is why you're not in her life divine feminine divine masculine because you aren't doing the work well you are doing the work but you're, you're still staying in victim mode you have to take action divine masculine Stop letting your ego rule your life. Okay, let's have a look. Um, let's get a couple from Sacred Destiny. Okay, so new beginnings. New beginnings. Divine Masculine. Let go of ego. Listen to your heart. See things from a new perspective. And you will have the new beginnings that you desire. You will have the happy, peaceful, love love filled life everything will be healed if you if you get off the floor if you stop being a victim if you stand up and get the key that opens your door to freedom you will have your new beginnings until then you just have repeating karmic cycles which get harder and harder I think I don't think spirit wants another card from the deck I think that was quite a clear message it's time to take action and then new beginnings come let go of ego commitments being tested by masculine your commitment to yourself okay let's have a, a card then from Ganesha the Ganesha, Whispers of Lord Ganesha. I love these cards. I love all my cards, but it's fine. Okay, so we've got three cards have come out. Clear your energy. Divine Masculine, clear your energy. Look, look at him. Look at Ganesha. He's fighting. He's in the middle of chaos. It's like, let go of all the fights and the struggles. Anything that you're fighting against is trying to teach you to let go. Inner knowing. Listen to your higher self. Listen to your intuition. Listen to your spirit guides. Openness. Be very open and honest about your own feelings. Listen to your heart. Because your heart always steers you in the right direction. have a couple from the the lover's oracle surrender divine masculine at times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives let go and all will work out divine masculine let go let go of the past let go of the ego let go of all the toxic relationships in your life whether they be people or things, situations, work, booze, drugs, whatever they are, let go. Anything that is holding you in your past is preventing you from moving forward. Here are my divine masculines. It's important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give to yourself. Take time on your own, Divine Masculine. Stop trying to fill your life up with, with, with other people and, and, and things and, 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 and anything that you have a crutch, you know, that it has become a crutch for you, anything, because all of these things 
are actually prolonging your pain. You're, you need to focus on yourself. This is your time to do your work. This is time for you to let go. This is time for you to heal. And this is time for you to understand that you hold the key to your own future. Nobody else. And no one else can do this work for you. You're the only person that can do this. Nobody else can. Playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together and remember, love is the greatest healer. Well, this popped out with this one, embrace. Through each other, you find the missing pieces. So I think this is um, a future a, um, a future card, a future little message for divine masculine and divine feminine. This is basically saying that, you know, embrace each other because you can be together and work things out as long as you're both coming from your heart yeah no one no one has to be fully healed to be in a relationship but they have to be in a place where they're coming from their heart when they can treat each other with love and with the love and respect that they deserve um and so yeah when when you're ready divine masculine when you're ready to come forward it doesn't mean that you have to be healed but it does mean that you you have to be you must have self-love because to love another you have to love yourself first and then when you do come together this is really important yeah you find you find your missing pieces through each other and you have fun together love is the greatest healer loving ourselves and loving our um, divine our divine twin flames is 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 another is a way to heal love is healing but first you do you need to do a little bit i'm going to get one more divine masculine you really got to pick yourself off the floor here your divine feminine isn't going to do it for you anymore no one's coming to rescue you you've got to rescue yourself okay i feel like I've got two messages here. It says, give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. I feel that the union isn't far away for the for this divine feminine, divine masculine collective. Um, and it says power. You instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. I think this is a little bit of reassurance for divine feminines, um, even though I feel that they, they, they're very trusting in their hearts right now, sometimes they do need this. Um, divine feminines, they're, they're, they've learnt their lessons, they're in a very empowering, self-empowering place, they're very full of, they're full of self-love, self-respect. Um, but this is very new for these divine feminines, they've spent a lifetime getting to this place. Um, and I think this is Spirit's way of saying that, yes, the connection, the union is coming and Divine Feminines, don't worry because it doesn't matter how your Divine Masculine comes to you, you, it, you will know, you have the power to know what is right, what you accept, what is good for you. You know now that you come first. Okay, so Divine Feminines, if your Divine Masculine um, comes towards you at any time soon, it's your decision, okay, whether you, whether you embrace them, you know, you'll know if they're in their heart space, if they've come to you truly with love, or if they've come to you wanting you to, to give more than you should again. Um, and so you have the power now, Divine Feminines. To recognise um, the, this, the um, healthy relationships, you have that power now. And if something happens which isn't healthy, you have the power to say no. You have the power to walk away. It doesn't mean that this this you know this this relationship is set in stone. 
whether it's on the 5D or, or you know the higher self level of the soul, it's a soul relationship, or if it's um, manifested on the 3D, it this relationship is one that cannot be run away from. But it you on the 3D, this is the lessons. It has to be healthy. Okay, so there's a there's a little bit of a confirmation there for you, divine feminine. You have the power. You in your power. And um, and it's yeah this relationship is going to come into union, and you are both going to be able to look at it from a different perspective. You are not going to go back to the toxic relationship before. You are going to be in your power, both of you. And um, and yeah, it's very exciting times. So. Be patient with yourselves, be patient with each other, um, embrace love, let go of ego, let go of fear, let go of worries, guilt, shame, embrace love and everything that comes with it, it is yours, it is yours, love is yours, this twin flame relationship is yours, sending you all love and light.